Hey guys, what's up? It's Mackenzie Criswell here with another great new video. Uh, today, again, taking a look at stuff I use every day. Uh, we've got a very interesting one here today. This is a, a program called Switch, Switch Res X. It's a great app. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, so as you know, uh, a big part of what I do online is recording tutorials. I record them for my uh, YouTube channel and my site, and I record them for a couple other places. Uh, you can uh, definitely check all that out. Recording tutorials uh, for a number of different people usually requires a number of different resolutions, a uh, number, number of different setups, uh, and this is an app that uh, can make that happen pretty easily. So uh, this is uh, kind of my standard screen resolution. This is 1080p right now, but this is kind of the app here. This is the interface, uh, and and you can see it's just kind of a, a, a dock item or a menu bar item, and I have a number of different screen resolutions I can switch from. I'm not going to actually switch right now because when I do switch screen resolutions, uh, it's going to shut off the screen recorder and I'll have to restart it. So we will switch resolutions so I can show you what it does, but we're just going to uh, get it installed and everything first, or take you through the process of getting it installed. Uh, first, but you can see there are a ton of different resolutions here, uh, 16 by 9, 16 by 10, 4 by 3, all the different kind of resolutions you would want. There is an indicator over here telling you what the aspect ratio is, uh, and then uh, just the resolution, and these are all either 60 or 75 hertz um, is what they'll run at, so you'll be set uh, as far as that's concerned. Uh, so off of that, uh, what we've actually got here is the Switch Res X website. Uh, so from the website, there'll definitely be a link. Uh, we'll just go ahead and click download. Uh, and then we'll get the uh, download page here. And while this is downloading, it won't take very long. It's not a very big app. It's uh, 8 megabytes. Oh, 3.8 megabytes. So 4 megabytes. Uh, but in the meantime, if you're on uh, El Capitan, uh, if you're on OSX El Capitan, uh, which I definitely am, uh, then uh, you'll actually need to do a little bit of adjusting to get this to work. Uh, something was changed whenever they did the, oh, the uh, El Capitan update. Not really sure what. You can read up about it if you're interested. I'll leave another link to this separate page. But anyways, to get this fixed, what we need to do is uh, come to our apps and we need to open up the uh, terminal. Oh, real quick. Someone did ask how I got uh, this applications folder here. Uh, so let me get rid of it here. Get it off of the dock. And if you are also wanting to put your applications folder on the dock, uh, I got a question about it. All you want to do is grab the applications folder right here from your favorites, or if it's not there, uh, from just the finder, wherever it ends up being. Uh, but you just want to grab the applications folder drag it straight onto your dock and that'll be and that's a pretty quick way to access some of the apps that you don't want to keep on the dock all the time anyways uh, we want to come to utilities open up the terminal real quick and uh, we'll paste this little bit of code you will just hit enter I'm not gonna run it again uh, just because I've already done it and I don't want to break anything you more than likely wouldn't but uh, I just don't want to try anything too crazy here and uh, you'll get a success message that uh, will look like this, so uh, we can just paste it in there and pretend we got it. And yeah, so now that's all you need to do to set it up. Uh, you may actually need to uh, go into the system while it's restarting, which you can do by hitting Command R uh, and then open up the terminal from there and put the code in, is what they're saying here on the website. So if that needs to happen, you may need to do a restart. I did not, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, but keep that in mind. It's it's a pretty quick setup. It's it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a hitch, but uh, you can figure it out no problem. Uh, so now we have uh, our new file downloaded, and uh, again, putting things in the uh, uh, downloads folder is just as easy. And uh, it opens up as a zip file, and then we'll just click right here. And when we do that, it should. Okay, yeah. So when we do do so when we do click that, uh, what we'll get is uh, it will open up our system preferences, which is where this thing is going to rest, uh, and it's going to ask me if I want to replace it. I'm going to hit no, uh, but of course you'll just uh, it you should just install without any button clicking, uh, and then right down here is where the Switch Res X menu is going to live. 
Okay, so here is uh, where all the settings are going to live uh, for this app. And and really the main thing that you want to set up here is you want to come to the menus and you want to make sure right here uh, you want to make sure that your uh, menu bar uh, switcher is checked. And once you have that checked, what you'll there's a few other options here. Normally, I leave it set to just resolutions, but there are actually a number of other things that you can set this app to adjust for you. Resolution is the main one that it that it will uh, work for you, but you can also edit color, color profiles. You can change the orientation of the desktop. You can add a switch to enable and disable the display entirely. There's a number of different options here, uh, but I'm gonna leave it on resolution. I believe. This is actually how it's checked to start up with. You just have the resolution showing up, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. But then inside of the app, uh, we finally have the uh, setup for our actual monitor here. And uh, here are the current resolutions listed. And uh, to go ahead and switch one of these resolutions, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on one of these. So for my tutorials, I do 1080p, uh, but I do a couple of tutorials uh, on a website called Motion Mile, and for them, they want 720p tutorials. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and knock my uh, display down to... Uh, okay, and so now we're at 720p. Uh, as you can see, the, the screen recorder did actually crash. There's a part one of the video uh, on the desktop there. Uh, but uh, we're at 720p now. Uh, and of course, going back up to any resolution is uh, just as easy as clicking a button. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hop back up to 1080p. Uh, the, resolutions, uh, the resolutions here go as high as 2560 by 1600 to 1400, depending on whether you want your aspect ratio to be 16 by 9. Uh, or 16 by 10 uh, and uh, yeah so that's about as high as they go we won't do too much switching here because I don't want to keep restarting the uh, screen recorder uh, regular uh, but anyways we'll just go ahead and hop back up to my regular 1080p and that's basically how it goes there is a checkbox here next to every resolution so you can actually pick which of these resolutions even show up on your desktop uh, which is really cool there's a lot of really this is actually a fairly robust app it serves what seems like a pretty simple uh, purpose, but there are uh, layers upon layers upon layers inside of this app. So any anything you want to do as far as resolution or color is concerned, this this is a great add-on that'll help you do it. It's a lot more than just uh, what I use it for, but hey, that's what I use it for. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free uh, to check out any of the videos on this channel youtube.com slash mckenzie g chris well you can check me out on social media there'll be links below or check out all the content that i create at maxi.co it'll be a card but that's it for now i'll see you next time